Now, the challenge of training, recruiting and retaining teachers in our public education systems are only growing. A recent survey showed 80% of government schools had positions that were unfilled. And reports on the weekend revealed some public school teachers are being offered sign-on bonuses of up to $50,000 to teach in private schools. Higher pay and sign-on bonuses, teachers are being hunted like footy stars. This comes as our school standards continue to slip in relation to comparable countries. A new OECD report finds that a lack of discipline is a major problem in our schools and is contributing to the teacher exodus. The report finds that on discipline, our schools rank right at the bottom of the OECD table, with classroom disruptions rampant. And in high schools, more than a third of principals reporting bullying and intimidation incidents happening at least once a week. All this undermines kids' results, of course, but it also tests our teachers. Let's get more on this from education expert Dr Kevin Donnelly. Good to talk to you again, Kevin. It doesn't surprise me, really, that discipline is a key problem, and especially for teachers. I mean, teachers are pushed away from the, the profession, aren't they, if, if there's not discipline in the classroom and the whole school surroundings? You're right, Chris, and... Uh... Unfortunately, it's been a problem that's been there for over 10, 20 years. And I, I don't always agree with the Australian Education Union, but they've been doing annual surveys for a long time now. And one of the issues that keeps coming back up is discipline. And the OECD report is correct, and it's not the first one, to say Australian classrooms are some of the most disruptive with unruly students across the OECD. And there are a number of reasons for that happening, and we can talk about those if you like. Well, let's cut to the chase here too when it comes to private schools. Obviously, if teachers can get a, a higher salary in private schools, who, who could blame them for, for doing that? But a, a lot of teachers are attracted to the private schools because there is more discipline, because they're allowed to impose the discipline. And if people say uh, teachers are worried about discipline, why don't they just impose it? Well, in the classrooms, in the government systems, they're very much hamstrung out, aren't they? They don't have the autonomy to impose the sort of discipline that they'd like. You're right about that, and there have been uh, Auditor General reports in New South Wales and Victoria showing that uh, government school principals or school leaders don't have the power to actually discipline students. There's a lot of bureaucracy, a lot of red tape they have to go through before they can act. And the other question uh, that we have to address is that when I or you went to school some years ago, teachers were authority figures. And that was something uh, where we were taught as children by our parents to respect teachers. Unfortunately, that hasn't been happening. I mean, in schools now, uh, they talk a lot about, even in primary, that students have uh, self-agency, uh, teachers should not control the classroom. I've heard of teachers actually being told in primary school to remove the desk at the front of the room because if you stand there in front of the young kids, you're an authority figure. You yeah. have to be there walking around or sitting on the, on, the, on the floor with them. So we have to look at what's happening in the curriculum and the pedagogy and we need to get parents to do far more as well. Well, this stuff is obvious and it's obviously uh, uh, done very well often in the private sector and certainly in other schools overseas. So. Why don't we just act? What's holding us back from getting back to the basics and reinstalling a bit of authority, respect and discipline? Well, all I can say is, Chris, uh, I taught for 18 years and I've been uh, commenting for a long time. It's uh, not, as we heard today from the Education Minister, yet another review. I mean, if I were to add up the number of reviews we've had mm. over the last 20, 30 years, they've all come to nothing. So what we really need to understand, it's a systemic problem. There's no one solution. We have to look at teacher training. I mean, too many uh, teachers go into the classroom, beginning teachers, not knowing enough about how to control a classroom. We also need to look at uh, teachers having the expertise in their subject area because children, students will quickly learn if a teacher isn't up to speed on what they're teaching. Oh, absolutely. So the, classroom discipline be, in terms of pedagogy as yeah. well as a curriculum. Kids will be onto that sort of thing immediately.